A few weeks ago now, the Earth finished up another orbit around the Sun. And although technically meaningless, the Templin Institute does try to mark the occasion by reflecting on the last year and discussing what we have in mind for the future. And 2023 was a bit of a rough one. It began with catastrophe. In a disastrously misguided effort to convince a certain segment of the population that canon shouldn't really be taken as some source of absolute truth that can be weaponized to prove societal value or enforce a specific worldview, but instead be interpreted simply as a useful measure for determining which works within an overarching narrative are interconnected, authoritative but ultimately open to interpretation. And as we should have known, this unhinged, radical, and dangerous line of thinking ignited a holy war and a mass exodus. In a single week, the Templin Institute lost nearly 1.5% of its total subscriber base which fled to other channels that use shorter sentences and simpler ideas. Our channel was entirely destroyed, reduced to only 98.5 of its pre-incident population, and from there we could only pick up the pieces and try to find hope in the ruins. I think we all understand just how serious this is, how it's no laughing matter. We destroyed people's lives, and even now, almost a year later, I think it's important that we reflect on what happened and acknowledge the role we played and what for so many people was a horrific and frankly traumatizing event. Oh, bad news. Oh no. Anyway, last week. But not every bad thing that happened last year was imaginary. I don't like to talk about the meat tube my consciousness inhabits all that often, but I had some respiratory issues last April that have knocked me down every few months since. Thankfully, things have improved significantly since then, and I'm especially grateful to our Patreon supporters and YouTube members who kept the lights on. But if I ever sound weird in a video or things get delayed, that's probably why. I'm still not quite at 100%. The time I took off to recover, though, gave me the chance to conduct a more comprehensive review of where the channel currently stands, and what strikes me is just how much the Templin Institute has evolved and expanded since the early days of 2017. Our latest pilot week was a great example of this, and it really opened up the types of content we're able to produce. Building your battle group is especially exciting, and by combining it with our reimaginings, I think we're really starting to figure out and showcase what the Templin Institute is best at. Not to mention the launch of the Way of World Building, one of the biggest projects we've ever attempted and one of our longest held goals. But videos like the Holy Rollers or my recent military sci-fi manifesto are becoming incredibly complex to produce and on average, they're also getting longer. On a single day this year, we released 70 minutes of scripted content, more than the Templin Institute's entire first month and a half. And that's not actually that unusual anymore, nor a bad thing. Longer investigations like the Third Tyrannic War worked out so well because we were able to explore the events in detail. So we find ourselves then wanting to do a lot of things at once, and with that comes the risk of spreading ourselves too thin, or a decline in quality if we try to expand too quickly. So here's my solution. In 2024, the Templin Institute is going to be making some medium to large changes. First, we're going to start more regularly releasing shorter investigations, just like in the early days. There's plenty of nations, factions, and organizations from alternate worlds that can be summarized in only a few minutes. This frees up time to work on some of our longer, more sophisticated videos, not to mention continue producing our bigger series like The Way of World Building or Stellaris Invicta Season 3. No, we haven't forgotten about that. But the real big news is that we're going to be performing a complete reboot of the Templin Institute. Updating the visuals of our investigations, retooling our Patreon rewards, social media, live streams, the whole thing. Longtime viewers might recall we did this once before, during the legendary Operation Thundershark. Well, it is time to officially announce Operation Lightning Fish. This will be our big project for 2024, and we hope to get it done before the end of the year. Once that's done and the Templin Institute is operating on its new system, well, I think the time for us to lead mankind into an uncertain future may come again. But until then, thank you very much for your support. We're excited to try to make 2024 one of the best in the history of the Templin Institute. The Templin Institute investigates the nations, factions, and organizations of alternate worlds. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to join the Templin Institute, consider pledging to our Patreon page. Along with increased security access, you'll be able to vote in polls to determine future topics, get custom wallpaper every week, and receive some other exclusive rewards. 